Hey makers, this is Dhruveen and in this session I am going to talk about 5 important power effects formula that has been rolled out during this month. We will be talking about round function, round up function, round down function, integer and trunk function. We will be talking about everything with the help of example. So let's get started but before that here is an intro. Here I am on my machine and here you can see that I have opened one power apps. In this session I am going to talk about different rounding function along with integer and trunk function. Now let's first try to understand syntax and use of each power fx formula over here. Let's talk about the rounding function first. The main rounding functions that has been rolled out are round function, round down function and round up function. Now let's talk about the syntax. The syntax for all of these three rounding function are first we need to provide number and then we need to provide decimal places. And this round, round down and round up functions round a number to specified number of decimal places that you have placed over here. Let's talk about this thing with the help of example and let's talk about its use. So let's say for an example, this is three labels I have added to my Power Apps application and here you can see I have used a function round. Same way here the function is round up and function is round down and under that I need to provide the number and the decimal places. Now here in all three functions I provided decimal places to zero meaning I just need to consider the whole number as a rounding value. Now how this thing is work here let's talk. So first of all let's talk about the round function. So let's say for an example here the number is 8.1. Now here you can see that Inside the round, I provided the value of this text box and decimal to zero for rounding. Meaning, I just need to round up the value without decimal. So, let's say 8.1 is the value and after decimal, the number is 0.1. So, it has written me the round value as 8. The reason is, if the value is greater than or equal to 5, then it will return me the value as 9. Let's say I am typing here 8.5. Then this will give me the rounding value as 9. Even if value is 8.4, it will give me the rounding value as 8. Same way, let's say if the value is 8.9, then it will give me the rounding result as 9. So round function is something which round ups if the next digit is 5 or higher. Otherwise, this function round down the value. Now, let's talk about the second function that is round up function. So, round up function always round up to the next higher number away from 0. Let's say for an example, I am typing here 8.1. So, if we use round up function, it will give me the next higher value which is 9. No matter here it is 8.1, 8.5 or 8.9. It will always round up one digit over here. Now let's say I am typing here 8.9. So even then it is giving me the result as 9 as a round up value. Right. So basically the main difference between round and round up is round function is something which will give you the and rounding the value only if next digit is greater than or equal to 5 right while in case of round up it always add one digit up to the number now let's talk about the round down function so round down function always round down to the previous lower number towards the zero so let's say here i have 8.9 so still it is returning me the result as 8 as a round down value 
now even if i have 8.1 so even at that time it will give me the result as 8 right so hope this is clear for you now so far round round up and round down right so simple and so useful now let's talk about another two function int and trunk now the syntax for int and trunk is somewhat different than this rounding function this will convert the decimal number to the whole number and now the syntax is integer and inside that you need to provide only the number in both the cases you need to provide the number now what is the main difference between integer and trunk function let's talk about that the way it handles the negative number is the main difference between this int and trunk function. Let's say for an example, you have a value minus 9.5. So what happened here is int will return you the value minus 10 as a result and trunk is returning the, you the value as minus 9. So int is something which will always returning you the value which is the nearest integer and which is far away from zero while in case of trunk it will give you the result which is nearest to zero meaning minus nine right so no matter like let's say if i have minus 9.4 even it will return me minus 10 as an integer value and for trunk it will return me minus nine which is nearer to zero which is away from zero right so this is the main difference and this is function is basically used to round a number to an integer right so hope you are good with me so far with the syntax and the basic functionality now let's play around with some decimal places to see the more examples let's say for an example here in the round statement at this moment I have 0 as a decimal places meaning I need the whole value as a rounding point value. Now I am setting 2 as a number of digits. So after decimal it will round up the value up to 2 decimal. Now let me just change this thing to all 3 round function integer and truncate do not have this number of digit thing so let's do it now let's play around over here so we have added decimal places to two digit right now let me just add a number that 495.123 let's say for an example i added this value so now let's check the result round function if the number is greater than or equal to 5 then it will add one digit up but here you can see the last number is 3 so it has showing and rounding value to 495.12 now for round up no matter it always add 0.1 over here so 495.13 correct and for round down it is 495.12 it will always round down the value right now for integer and trunk it is obviously 495 now let's say for an example uh, i'm just adding 495.128 so you can see the round will return you one point added 495.13 round up will always add round down will always down the value right so hope you are good with me so far now i'm just adding 125 so round will return you 495.13 here 495.13 and 495.12 so hope so far you are good with me now Let's talk about one more example which rounding to two decimal places to the left of the decimal separator. So let's say for an example, I'm just adding here number of digit as minus two. Minus two.
and minus 2. Now, let's see what happens. So basically, when you add the negative number as number of digit, so it will round two decimal places to the left of the decimal separator. Here we have 495.125. So here the round digits are minus 2. So it will give you the rounding value as 500 here because you, you have a value 495 which is nearer to 500. Now let's say for round up it is always add 1 up here and for round down no matter there is 95, 96 or even 99 it will give you the rounding value nearer to 0. So it will give you 400 as a round down value. Now let's say if I type 430.125 so you can see that a round will give you the result 400 because it is not greater than or equal to 450. If it is 450, it will return you 500, right? And even if here 430, then roundup will give you 500 and round down will give you 400, right? So, hope so far you are good with me. If you are adding negative number in the decimal places, it will round the value left to the decimal separator. And if you place the decimal places as positive number, it will round the decimal places to right of the decimal separator. Now, if I summarize everything which I explained you so far, we talked about different syntaxes, we talked about integer and trunk function, we talked about the positive decimal places and negative decimal places, and we played around with different examples. Hope you get a clear idea about the different rounding function in PowerFX. If you have any question, feel free to add your question in the comment section. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe my channel and share it with your friend and follow me all my social media handles.